buddy. I know what you're thinking, Daft. You put out a Fortnite video just a few days ago. Why are you putting up another Fortnite video? Well, the answer is because I recorded this footage already. And I've been super busy this week. And I'm making this last minute. And didn't have time to record something new. So I just had to bust out some old footage I already had sitting around. But back to back trio dubs. Back to back ground royales. That's what you guys are getting in this video. It's going to be a great, great video. So put on the headphones, lay back, relax, watch if you want to, and uh, let's just get nice and nice and calm with it while I dunk on children in a video game. We're landed here at Condo Canyon. Um, I think we land Condo Canyon both games, but I'm not sure about that. Um, man, I tell you though, this week, getting back to, getting back to my personal life for a second, this week is insane. Uh, as you guys know, I'm in my final few semesters of college right now. Uh, I went back to college after COVID because I lost my job, yada yada. Not going to get into all that, but right now it's finals week. And since I'm towards the end of my time in school, all of my classes now are extremely intensive. Lots of writing, lots of projects. So by this Friday, I have to have written a five-page essay, completed a data collection and visualization project, and uh, finish another quite large multimedia project all by this Friday. So the videos might be a little uh, restrained this week, but you know how I do it. I never miss days. I stay grinding. So still need to put out the content for the viewers. Um, unfortunately, this was another one that uh, I was not recording while I was playing the game. Uh, I had to go and uh, record the theater mode afterwards. Um, I, I think we landed Gondo because I had to do some missions to kill the IO guards. I'm not sure exactly. Um, but I don't think that another team landed here during this um, this particular game. I don't know. Um, but yeah, just up on the Zeppelin. Always go Zeppelin. You know how it is. In the, um, in the no build meta, it's really about positioning and verticality and things like that it plays a big part in the success in no builds. Um, we were camping up here because we thought teams might be, uh, coming this way eventually because we were in the edge of the circle and if you have a zeppelin you have that good position and the good verticality and it's inside of the circle then there is really no reason to abandon that you might as well just hold on to it because um, it'll make it a lot easier to fight other teams but there we go, all the IO guards defeated there. Um, so running down now to get to some of the loot off of them. I think I pick up, did I get a legendary pump shotgun, I think? 
third teammate is coming in and saying he's going to take it. So then the guy I told to take it just ends up taking it so that uh, our third teammate cannot have it. The joys of trios, you know, you have to it's equal parts playing the game and trying to win and equal parts just trolling each other and memeing on each other you gotta keep the game fun um i think we heard some gunfire up here which is why we're kind of being a little bit hesitant but then uh, one of my teammates noticed that the i think that that's what happened he noticed that the zeppelin up there had not been looted yet so we were pretty confident that we could go up there and take the zeppelin as long as we moved quickly enough um, because based on the fact that it had been looted we were pretty sure that um, there was not a team up on the rocky reel zeppelin and as you can see based on the little mini map um, yeah nobody's up there there's a lot of people below the zeppelin but there's nobody on top of it so i'm just going right on up and uh yeah you can see there all the stuff is still up here on top of the zeppelin the ammo the gun so good drop and we take the high ground in this final circle area right off the jump which is good but then i pull this pro gamer move right here look at that i just slid right on down over the edge no hesitation just just slid right over the edge so we were pretty sure at this point that uh we were pretty screwed uh, we were down a man and then so my team my team engages this team here um and plus there's a tank it's just like causing even more chaos behind everything else but um boom one of my teammates goes down here gets knocked and then our third teammate is reloading so i go no this is it this is the end but he hits the spin move on him and smgs him down and that team all had crowns that was the winning team from the round before they all had crowns and so you were wondering how did we get back to background royales when we did not start this match with crowns well there you go there is our first crown and now we're getting up our teammate there collecting up some of their things and we're basically like okay we need to just get on top of this zeppelin as you can see, there's a team right there in front of us fighting somebody. There's a tank shooting at us. We're just like, get on top of the Zeppelin because it's gonna get crazy in here. Like, it's gonna get overwhelming. So we're all making our way up to the Zeppelin, taking shots at that team who I uh, saw earlier from the, you know, the nice little coverage there that the, um, the zeppelin provides me and thankfully due to the zeppelin not being looted there was a med kit just sitting up there waiting for me um because i hadn't uh, you know i got revived and that was that throw the shield cake down for my teammates because they both had no shield and uh yeah there's a lot of fighting going on all around us on the underneath side so we're kind of just chilling for the moment and i think i had a dunk right there because people were spectating me um but yeah so we're just chilling for the moment letting everybody else kill each other get each other weak so we can pick off the scraps from up above um as you can see we have a sniper two assault rifles and i thought that little blue shimmer was a person there but i kept shooting at it and it wasn't anything so i'm not sure why that bush was like blue but it was a blue bush um there's a person there i'll knock them and there's someone sitting in that bush we get the limb there and somebody is chasing them down with a tank we have an 
a team of anime skins. So we're putting shots on the tank. I mean, the thing is, if you're in a tank, it's really hard to fight against a zeppelin. Like, it's just, it's basically impossible. Now I knock the gunner, and then we blow up the tank, so that was, that was clutch. And then one of their other teammates just runs and starts drinking a shield potion right out in the open, so we got the quick elimination on them, and they also dropped a crown. I'm not sure how that person was crowned, if they just stopped to drink shield potions in the middle of the field while getting shot at, but it is what it is. As you can see, we are just surrounded by carnage at this point. Um, there's crowns all over the floor, there's loot all over the floor, and it's us and one other team, but the other team only has two people on it. So we're just, uh, you know, emoting for a hot second up here, trying to figure out where this other team is, because, I mean, we're really not too super worried about it. We have the numbers advantage, so as long as we don't play stupid, as long as we don't overextend, that, you know, we should, uh, we should win this, theoretically. But, um, unfortunately, our Zeppelin is not in the final circle. And we aren't really sure where that other team is, so we make the decision that we need to go move to high ground. So looking out over there, we're like, alright, let's get to high ground. So we pull up on this spot, which is, looks like the highest ground available for this final circle. Putting some shots on him there. We have one teammate just pushing in, so we're like, alright, let's go give support there. So we go to back him up, switching around my guns, trying to figure out what our, what our distance is here. Get one knock there. And we're like, alright, there's one solo, so let's just drop on him. And our teammate actually pickaxed them to death. If you look, they did not have a gun in their hand there. They pickaxed them to death, but here is our second game of the day after that first victory royale. So this is the game immediately after that game. So we now have our victory crowns, um, well, both the ones we picked up and from the last match. And we just dropped right down onto the Rocky Real Zeppelin, like right off the jump. We're like, all right, let's just Go Rocky Real Zeppelin. As you can see, it's a super busy drop. If you look in that bottom right corner, there is a ton, ton of people. And here's one on me, this Kakashi. Now take note, take note of this Kakashi that I chase here because this man becomes the main antagonist of this story that you are all about to watch. Uh, and he, he plays a vital role throughout the course of this game. He's flying away. I couldn't really hit the shots on him, so I kind of gave up on it. Trying to hit him with the sniper. Not happening there. And then he goes out of render distance. So, whatever. That Kakashi escaped. And again, keep that Kakashi in the back of your brain. Uh, there's another team on the Zeppelin. You can see them on the mini-map, and we were hearing them at the time. Uh, we just weren't really sure exactly where they were at in the Zeppelin. So we're kind of just cautiously going around and looting and finding, uh, you know, the, the gear and things that we need. While also semi-looking for this other team and thinking of where they could be. Actually, I think, are they fighting them right now? I don't think so. No, oh, yep, they, yeah, they were. They just got eliminated. And, um, okay, yeah, so I think now it is just us, um, up here on the Zeppelin. I think everybody else is, yeah, everyone else is dead, I'm pretty sure. Um, 
yeah, looking at the mini map, it's just us. There's one team down in Rocky, but as far as the Zeppelin, that's just our team holding it now. Um, we pushed everybody else off. Missed the first one, then I go too high on the second one. Classic. And I'm looking around, seeing if I can see where their team is, and then somebody just shoots at me. Long range, very rude. Trying to see where that's from, and I actually thought it was the IO guards, because I couldn't see where the bolts were going from originally. But now, watching it back, obviously it was coming from like the, right down there, the water area under the bridge. So now I'm taking some pot shots at them. Because they were shooting at me. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Cracked, cracked. Knocked one. Knocked two. Just like that. Uh, I think my teammate technically got credit for the knock on the second one, but we knocked both the guys down there by the, the water who were taking those shots at me. And then coming down into Rocky to loot a little bit. Um, because although the Zeppelin is a good tactical position, oh, look at this, the malfunctioning. It's a good tactical position, but it does not have a lot of loot and stuff in it to, for a, a, a long, sustainable end game. Get the legendary striker bump there. You know what it is, gotta get that striker pump, especially the gold. Uh, gotta slide shot some people. Now, drinking that, drinking that shield fish, or the chuck fish, I don't remember what they call it. And just down here, living our best life. Collecting loot in Rocky. Look at all this assault rifle ammo I'm getting. Very important for no build mode to have the assault rifle ammo. I've basically noticed that there's two main play styles, maybe three play styles, that have kind of settled in for people who play no build. And that is the assault rifle, the long range to medium range assault rifle players who try and get you out into the open and shoot you down with an assault rifle. Then there is the pushers who try and stay in close quarters areas and they rush you with SMGs and shotguns. Sometimes they use the knockback grenades to try and achieve the same thing in a more open area. So they'll knock a back grenade towards you and then just SMGs and shotguns and try to spray you down. And there's the bush hiders who just hide in the bush, move from bush to bush, and wait for you to either move past them or whatever else before they attack you. I absolutely hate the pushers in this game mode, like the SMGs and the shotguns, when you can't like build up to defend yourself, and you're in an open field and there's an entire team just spraying you down. It's basically impossible to do anything against it, and it's super annoying and it's been uh, something that's made me rage pretty hard and it's even worse in solos it's like you guys know if you've seen my previous fortnite gameplays i was really good at solos last season uh, i would never build i've never built in fortnite but even without building i would get Lots of solo wins, uh, crowned solo wins, all that stuff. I was good at solos. But for some reason, even though I've never built, so I feel like I should be naturally better at no build mode than people who played by building, I have really struggled in solos this season. Like, I don't have a single solos win yet, even though I've played plenty of solos. So I'm not really sure why that's happening. Like, I can't really explain it, uh, you know, because logically, I feel like being is how I've never built, and I've always basically played Fortnite as a no-build mode game. I should be better at it, but solos, I've been struggling. Squads and trios, I've been really good this season. I have 
tons of squads and trios wins this season, as you guys have observed, basically, as I've been playing, but the solos have just been eluding me, just absolutely eluding me, and I'm not really sure why, I can't explain it, I don't know if it's just like a lot of sweats are playing no build mode now, I don't know if, you know, whatever else, but it's just, it feels a lot more difficult than last season in solos, that's for sure, and I'm trying to figure out why. Let me know if you guys have had uh, a similar experience, if you've found it a little sweatier this season, a little bit more difficult than you were expecting it to be. Um, yeah, just a, just an observation. Um, coming up here, we have this team running into Tilted. And there's one in the gas station, or behind the gas station, yeah, up on the hill. Teammate takes care of them. We get the elimination on Strider 0728 there. Took them down. Now we're just... Oh, is there somebody pushing us? Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, it was an IO, that's right. IO guard just came up on us for some reason. <laughs> Pretty funny. I'm trying to remember what happened here. Um, this was a couple days ago. Um, I need a quick sip. I don't know why my throat was starting to get really scratchy there, like uncomfortably scratchy in my throat. It was really weird. I never really felt that before. I don't know, maybe it's because I've been whispering too much doing the daily videos. Maybe my throat's uh, not happy with me. Um, yes, yeah, so we're up here now. Oh yeah, we're, we're rocketing off uh, to go to a different spot. But first, gotta take down this IO. Gotta show that I owe what for. And we're cannoning off to. Okay, I think this is about where our final stand takes place. Again, another absolutely terrible cannon for me there. Not sure what I was doing there on that launch, but it was not great, that's for sure. Should we get this supply drop? Maybe, maybe we start to shoot at a little bit. But then I realized the supply drop my team was talking about was a different supply drop, and they're actually way up on this hill. So I was like, okay, okay. We're, we're going to different places here. So I go meet up with them. Yeah, and so yeah, this shifty, I think this area here near shifty is where a lot of stuff starts to pop off. Quickly. Got this great mountain high ground here. And as you can see, there's like three or four teams in front of us just ripe for taking pot shots at. Oh, there's one down there. I think or maybe there's a car or something. There's some bunnies down there taking shots at them. Knocked one of them. That just, I think, barely missed him. He got away there just on the nick of time. Boom, right there. Got elimination on them. This dude jumps in the truck. So we're taking shots at him, and then we notice this team up here. So we're like, alright, let's fire on their position here. That guy just driving away in the truck, not a care in the world, but we're just taking shots at all these different teams right now, just disrupting everybody. Making them have to scramble, scurry a little bit. And then we're dropping down here because you can see there's a ton of loot and ammo and stuff in front of us. Just like a ton sitting there on that 
right side and we have this we have this bunny team really weak because we've just been taking pot shots at them so we wanted to run in a little bit this guy just rebooted so gotta take him down because he was rebooting and I think oh we have to land here dang I thought I finished them off there but they jump away Just coming here through Shifty, looting everything that we can get our hands on. Two eliminations so far, or one teammate, he has seven eliminations. But he always gets a ton of eliminations, big kill stealer, steals all the kills. Hope he's watching right now, he sometimes does. You might see him comment on my videos from time to time, Mr. Box Float. He also has a YouTube channel. He doesn't make ASMR content, but he makes gaming videos from time to time. Not super consistently, but sometimes he's trying to get into it and streaming more. This guy had to light this bozo up real quick to care of them. And I think, yeah, we're down to 13 people now, five teams. So there's about no, not 12 people in four teams, so we have four complete teams. 3, 6, 9, 12, yep, four complete teams. That person's crawling, so gotta, gotta thirst them. Thirst them off so that their teammates can't pick them up later or whatever else. I mean, they can't uh, revive them at this point because we're at the final circle, but getting a pickup on a downed guy, you know, just having the numbers not be in a team's favor is very helpful. Um, very, very helpful. All right, all right, let's get to a, let's get to a decent cover spot here, so we, boom, take that ammo out there for my AR. What's funny is I actually had this whole game, my, uh, striker assault rifle I've been using has been gray. I had a gray assault rifle this entire game. <laughs> I never picked up a better one. I don't know how I didn't find one, but literally every striker, I, I just never found a better striker than the gray one I started with on the Zeppelin. So that was my, how long has my phone light been on? That's weird if my phone light's just been on this whole time. Hopefully that wasn't like weird and super harsh lighting. Um, that, that guy was trying to pick up their teammates, so we had to shoot at them just to disrupt them a little bit uh, so they couldn't get comfortable. Then they threw their downed teammate behind that truck, so we blew up the truck to finish off the downed teammate. Then also got elimination on the other guy I'd been shooting at. And this guy right here jetpacking around Literally, all three of us missed every single shot we took on that guy jetpacking. The jetpack feels very OP in this game. Like, if you have the red dot and somebody's jetpacking around, it feels almost impossible to get shots on them and, like, actually hit them. Oh, look at this right here. There's, a, there's some great shots right here through the little gap. But see, we're just playing it up here. We know we have a good spot, and the storm is going to be pushing them towards us, where we have the high ground. I think we are on the highest point left in the circle. They're all very low compared to us, and we have the positional advantage. Also, we have the longer storm side. So we can sit on this spot longer, even as the storm pushes them closer to us. Um, just really good final position here for the end of the game. And it's just us and this team now, but um, th yeah, they're just sitting there. They're all spread apart, sitting down on those ravines, taking shots at us. So we can just kind of head peek the roof and gun them down as they do the same to us. So we're just kind of playing a little bit of cat and mouse here, but I think they're aware of the fact that we have a much better um, 
some storm situation than them. Like I said, they have a short side of the storm, so they are going to be forced to move before we are. So we can just sit up here and take our time. Big shot on that guy, cracked him. And we're just trading shots now. They're starting to move now. They're getting pushed. We're still kind of chilling for a second. Like, all right, where are they going? Where are they going? I think they're actually eating some storm right now. Looking at the mini map, I literally think they're letting themselves get hit by the storm instead of um, moving closer to our position. Pretty crazy. This guy's just shooting us out of a bush. So, teammate goes in, we spray down that bush. knock on him there. Oh no, he's on that tree. This guy here. Knock them with the SMG. Now notice. Did you notice who that was sliding into the bush? Look. It's the Kakashi. The Kakashi who I chased at the very beginning of the game. I kill him at the very end for the second Crown Royale. So anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry if yet another Fortnite video so soon after the last one, but like I said, my schedule right now is just super crazy, so this was easy for me to make. Anyways, I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. And until next time, guys. Bye-bye.